my next guest, a true blue friend, as well as uh, a longtime analyst with, uh, on shows that I do on NFL Network, Game Day Morning and Thursday Night Football. Marshall Falk, you are a true blue friend. Good to see you, sir. Good to be here, Rich. So um, where do you stand on Super Bowl 49 right now, sir? Two days away, where are you seeing this matchup between the Seahawks and the Patriots? Uh, first of all, I'm ready for it. Yeah, we um, all are, all right? Dude, that... that uh. The press conference. Did you did you see the press conference with uh, with with Belichick and Carroll this yeah, morning? Yeah. It was the best I've ever seen Bill Belichick. I mean, uh, that was that was true respect for Pete Carroll and his team. And mm -hmm. um, and we know how Pete feels about 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 Bill and what they've done. But um, it was impressive. Uh, I think this game is going to be epic. You do. Um, yeah. I, there, there's no these two coaches. Uh, they make sure that their teams are ready to play in every phase of the game. Um, no surprise. They never get beat by surprises. Uh, when you beat them, you walk away like, we beat a good football team. And that's what's going down on Sunday. What makes you think it's epic? What, what is it about it? Is it the, the, the players? Is it the matchups? Uh, there's, there's, no, there's no weak point. Um, if, you, if you size up both special teams, uh, they, they fall in line. If you think about um, Seattle's offense, New England's defense, that's a matchup. We, we can't wait to see what the great Bill Belichick is going to do to take Marshawn Lynch away. What, what is he going to do? Because we know that's it. He's, he takes away your number one option. And then um, just when you have great cover corners going into a Super Bowl, you think about, well, who are they going to match up with? I mean, we don't really call these guys elite receivers. Like, who, who are you going to take away? <laughs> Baldwin and Curse right. and Luke Wilson with one silent L. And, and as and as good as that is a matchup, then you flip the script and you think about Tom Brady and um, how masterful he is um, going up against this defense that has arguably uh, is the best defense in our league now for the last what two three years. It's hands down. When when you get back to a Super Bowl with the very same thing that won your Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's an epic feat. I'm here with Marshall Falk, uh, my buddy from NFL Game Day Morning, which began 10 minutes ago, I think, uh, for Super Sunday, uh, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So uh, when it's all said and done, who wins it? Who do you like in this one? Um, you know, I'm, a, I'm right, right now I'm leaning New England. I just, I, I can't see, I can't see Brady losing another Super Bowl. Um, I just, I, it, it just doesn't. So even, he'll just essentially will it happening. I, I think? I, I'm not, I'm not going to say will it. Um, you know, er, there's always those games that we look at and they say, boy, you, who they won that one. I told you the Seattle game. I said Seattle wins this game. I don't know how you beat Seattle. Yeah, you said that in the first quarter. Right, and then um, you, you come back from two 14 point <laughs> deficits. Uh, there, there's just something about what's going on with New England and how they've been able to, within the season, mm -hmm. right the wrongs. And from game to game, even in game, like they did against Baltimore, and um, I just, I just feel like Tom Brady. We, we saw, so, I, I should say, I saw something, um, and maybe it is possible to consistently block the pass rush mm -hmm. of the Seattle Seahawks, like the Green Bay Packers did, to give Aaron Rodgers, who was on one leg, some time. So um, I think that time is going to give Brady the time that he needs to find Grunk. NFL MVP of the 2000 season, Super Bowl champion, first ballot Hall of Famer, seven-time Pro Bowler Marshall Falk right here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. You are, as always, the, um, the Manning interpreter. You're my Manning whisperer because you, you, you're Peyton's first running back, and anytime something's going on with him, I want you to interpret stuff. Archie, his dad, is here, and uh, you know Peyton is not here this week. Him, ta him not saying he doesn't want to play in the Pro Bowl, that's serious business. And uh, whether it's his leg or not, my advice for him, Archie said about Peyton's future, is to, is to go through the process, get away a little bit, let your leg heal, give it a lot of thought and decide what you're going to do. I think he's taking a good evaluation of where he is physically. What do you think that means? If he was not going to play, we would know by now. So he's coming back. Like he's, he, he, is, he is a matter of a fact kind of guy. I'm, I'm to believe that um, he's going to let the leg heal and he's going to give it a shot. Uh, Peyton is going to have to not be able to play at a high level for him to know. He's just not going to walk away like that. So he's thinking, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't have that torn muscle in my leg, 
It, it's it's the weird. The last month could have been different, and, he's, and that's what makes him think he should come back. It, it, I'm going to tell you, it's it's weird to me that um, that in watching him play and people saying that, wow, boy, he was having arm trouble. In the last game, he was overthrowing receivers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't underthrows. And usually, you right. know, it's, it's the opposite. So... Um, it's, it's going to be interesting. I just, I, I wish, I enjoy watching him play. I think the fans love watching him play. He's good mm -hmm. for our game. I, I hope that um, it's not an injury that sends Peyton out. I hope that he gets to come back, um, either maybe win another championship or, or make a run at it and then decide, you know what? I've had enough. Last question in the minute I have with you here, Marshall. Kurt Warner could be oh, man. a first ballot Hall of Famer on Saturday oh. night. And I, I give you the floor for his candidacy and why, why you think he should be joining you not only at Hall, but as um, a first ballot Hall of Famer. And you know how I feel about Kurt, the best man that I know. And I say it to people. I, I, I call it. I say it to his face. Um, you, you just don't travel the road that he's traveled. And usually the story is just enough. But then when you look at the numbers um, and, and what he did uh, – uh, how he facilitated the ball to what we was, and then to go to the Giants. And let's give him credit for showing Eli Manning, for being a mentor to Eli Manning, then sitting behind the Matt Liner, and then taking that team to a Super Bowl. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. And the Super Bowl numbers that Mooch is always trying to knock down. Right. The, the, <laughs> I mean, the three most prolific passing games in the history of the Super Bowl belong it, to it, Kurt Warner, one, two, and two three. Two-time MVP, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl winner. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure uh, if, if Kurt doesn't get in mm -hmm. uh, what, what the reason is. Uh, but I, I look forward to having a teammate um, That'll be great, in, in the Hall of Fame sitting in the room going through the process, as I did last year with Aeneas Williams. Mm -hmm. Marshall Falk is here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, my, my, the, my Chris Command Center is completely empty. Where, where did the guys go? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's Lily right. Aldridge is on the oh, set right, right now. Yeah. There's a Beauty and the Beast. Is Mar Marshall uh, is this right over there. Oh, oh, and because you guys, and because, about? Oh, because Marshall, right, nice. So I'm a true blue it's friend of yours. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> you stay here. We're just making new friends. I get to stay. We're talking football. We're making new friends. I get to stay. Talking about the Titans. Okay. Oh, you're. Yeah, no, he's going to stay. You guys. Get the, yeah, Marshall gets <laughs> okay, to stay. Cool, cool, cool. That's because I'm a true here. blue friend we're of we're his. Cool here, Lily we're Aldridge, we're Victoria's okay. Secret model, will be joining us in a matter of moments. And the us being me and you, Marshall Falk. <sighs> you're my running back. Thanks for taking care of me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience. <laughs>